guys, welcome back to Learn Mongolian with Saya. I'm sorry for not doing video for a while. I think that's been my routine ever since I uh, started my channel. I'm so sorry I have about 350 subscribers and I think I don't deserve those people to be my subscribers. So I feel guilty, that's why I'm filming this video. And um, like every night, a lot of ideas come into my mind to make good video. And then the next day I have work all day or I have a meeting and at night I don't have good light, lightning, good light. So I've been making excuses for not making video. So I thought like I don't have to have like perfect makeup and like, good background. I'm just starting so I don't have all those things, technologies that I need so I'm just gonna use my phone as usual and today I wanted to teach you guys uh, numbers in Mongolian and when you come to Mongolia how you can purchase how you can buy stuffs at the stores and <clears throat> the numbers will be um, I'll teach you one, two thousand that's a lot of numbers right but it's pretty simple it's really similar to english numbers i think in almost in all languages numbers are pretty easy okay so number one nick number two hoyer number three oro number four duru number five uh tau number six Zorga, number seven, Tosa, number eight, Nan, number number nine is Yus, Yus. It might be real little difficult, and number ten is Arv. And from uh, ten to uh, nineteen, um, in English it would be uh, twelve. 12, 11 is different, but 13, 14 has to be teen, right? In Mongolian language, you change the word Arav into Arvang, and then you just say the 1 to 9. That's pretty simple. For example, Arvang Nik, Arvang Hoir, Arvang Goro, Arvang Duru, Arvang Tau, Arvang Zorga, Arvang Dala, Arvang Nan, Arvang Is. Okay, so. Um, pretty much same same pattern for the rest of the numbers until 100 um, so 20 is her so you can say uh, 21 like herung nik herung hoir herung oru herung duru herung tau herung zorga herung dala herung nan heris and 30 is koch and you can say you'll just have the suffix ng, so it becomes kuching nik, kuching hoir, so it'll be the same. And forty is duch, and it will be duching nik, duching hoir until forty nine. And fifty is tev, and it will be changed to teven nik, teven hoir, teven goro like that. And sixty will be uh, jar. And 61 is Jarung Nik, Jarung Hoir, like that. And uh, 70 will be Dal, Dal Nik, Dal Hoir, pretty easy, right? And 80 is um, Nai, and it could be Nai Nik, Nai Hoir, Nai Goro, it will go like that. And 90 is Yir, Yir, Yirung Nik, Yirung Hoir until yirung yis which is 99 and 100 will be zo zo pretty easy right and if you want to say uh zo nik uh no sorry if you want to say 101 it will be zo nik uh you want to say maybe zo, um <laughs> keep speaking mongolian if you want to say 165 you can say um zong jarang tao you just learned 
uh, 1 to 99 and you use that knowledge and then after zong you will just add it Simple. for a thousand it will be miang but for this one you don't have to add ng suffix it will be just miang nigzo which means 1100 uh, if you want to say 1111 it could be miang nigzo arwong nik so for two digit numbers you say uh ng suffix for the first for the first part and for also three digit numbers you have to say dong for example if you want to say uh 230 you can say hoir dong watch for thousands you can just say miang after you say the number uh if you want to say <clears throat> 10000 Arwong Myang. That's pretty simple. So I hope you uh I hope this video helped you and it might not be really um easy to follow so just comment down below. It's especially because I'm not Mongolian teacher, it's really hard for me to actually find the correct explanation, correct like names, grammar names for example like determiners or suffix prefix it's pretty confusing I learned English syntax and grammar to teach and I haven't been um, using my grammar knowledge for Mongolian I'm just speaking it I'm just native speaker so I'm just helping you to speak more and I'm not really teaching how to write but if you're interested you can follow me to my Instagram or Facebook account um, and you can just DM me if you want and you can leave a comment down below I'll have I'll try to reply to you as soon as possible and yeah and for today also what I have is if you want to come to Mongolia and you have to purchase or buy something um, you want to say how much is this that would be Mm. In Hidwe. In Hidwe. Um, I was just participating, I just went to comedy night at, in Mongolia and there was a Brian who is from Canada and he w I've heard he's the best Canadian um, comedian and he was talking about Mongolia and he had to remember a na uh, actress name which is Anne Hathaway and it sounds really similar to Mongolian how much is this Anne Hathaway and how much is this would be in Hidwe it's really simple really similar so you can just remember by that actress name it's real it's really clever I think and if you want to say how much is that it would be Tir Tir Hidwe yeah and then that person will tell you the number which you already learned yeah I think that's pretty much it for today and it I hope this video helped you um, I'll be trying to make videos more um, more consistent consistently and I think I'll have to learn to be youtuber I can make mistakes and I don't have to be perfect as as long as I make contents regularly I think it will be helpful for those who are interested about Mongolian language and I was uh, thinking about uh, having a vlog how is life in Mongolia but it was so weird for me so difficult for me to film myself in public so I hope that if I get like a good camera that I can carry around the city probably I'll get that and for today let's finish the video until the next time bye